Hi, I'm happy to bring a review of the La Sportiva uh, Mountain Running Shoe. Uh, got this to do a review on, and I tell you what, I've worn these things out. So I want to start this review. I want to show you the shoe. Just look at it just a little bit before I actually get into it. But uh, I want to carry on and show you the actual functionality of it. So I'm going to, to actually show you the shoe in action uh, just in, in just a few minutes. But first, I wanted to kind of show you the, the shoe itself. If you look at the shoe, there's something very unique. Look at the laces. Uh, if you notice the laces there as they go in, they're covered right here. The reason that they cover them is if you run in, in, in a, a, a mountain or a trail, environment you tend to get a lot more dirt and debris and 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 you know twigs whatever leaves and 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 they would get in your sh shoestring and when they do uh you know it gets kind of messy there and so they've made these to where you know you can't get punctured from a, 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 a something coming at you it actually will hit this spot and it won't go into the shoe where it normally would so it, it gives you a little more protection and it also gives the shoestring a little more protection uh, the other thing I want to say about these, from from what I've worn them so far, and it's been quite a bit, uh, when I do a review, I usually try to to test the product uh, as good as I can in a real life environment and in this shoe I've, I've actually done that in an extreme way I've, I've worn these these things actually have quite a few miles on them right now and and I mentioned the, the, the miles because um, I, I, I'm I have been a backpacker for many years I don't do it much anymore but I but I'm still a backpacker at heart and when you backpack one of the things that you look into as a backpacker is is how many miles that you have on a pair of shoes runners it's a little bit different runners don't typically gauge they, they just you know go in and, and look at how many months they have the shoe or how how long they've had the shoe how well it held up and whatever but but when you're a hiker uh, or somebody who's going on trails you look for something a little bit different it's not quite as soft but it is soft and cushy but not not in the same way that a running shoe or I mean to, particularly today's design of running shoe uh, if you kind of look down in the shoe you'll see some some writing down in there and uh, basically what that's saying is is this is this shoe is built to be both stable and comfortable as you use it when you put it on it's not like um, I'm putting on a furry shoe or, or, or a real one of the lush tennis shoes that you see of today that have the, all the cushioning and cushioning and padding but when you wear this in a real life environment it actually holds up and it becomes more comfortable with time. Um, I can tell you from being a hiker for a long time, uh, when you put several miles on a shoe, uh, if a tennis shoe uh, is any good, it will hold up to it, and uh, it, you know it'll, it'll it'll it won't wear much. But in 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 a, in a hiking shoe and or a trail running shoe, which is is somewhat new to me because I I really am fascinated by I'm a runner and I'm fascinated by the sport but to combining what I've what I've loved which is hiking and running I mean it, it's just it's just a, a kind of a dream come true sort of deal uh, I, I want to show you the bottom of the shoe real quick and if you look at it you'll see some things about it you will see uh, it has more of a spike uh, type uh, look to it uh, again more more conducive to what you would see in a trail shoe or a hiking boot um, instead of a, 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 a running shoe or as as we uh, call them so uh, affectionately a tennis shoe so in this particular shoe this actually even though it looks more like a running shoe to me uh, being a hiker it actually feels and has the stability of a, 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 a more of a hiking hiking shoe or hiking boot uh, it's not a boot of course you can see that but but it has that same stability and same uh, rigidity uh, as a hiking boot would have so thus far I've probably got I'm, I'm going to say anywhere from 10 to 20 miles on these shoes and, and I'm going to be able to put several more miles in the next few days on these shoes and I want to kind of report back and show you exactly how these things hold up over time uh, but but it's been uh, you know really hard 
hard uh, pounding that these things have taken. And, and, and you can look, and you know, they've gotten a little bit dirty, but I mean, there's no wear on them whatsoever. And, and it's just amazing to me, but this, this right here, would, if it would be my dream hiking boot if I were going to go out and, and be hiking. Um, uh, again, you know, it, it, it's not as plush as, as some of the today's running shoes, but it holds up so far. I mean, I've pounded this thing to death, and it has not—it has not given one inch. And and of all of, I've got several uh, running shoes to uh, to review, and 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 that they're good as well. And I, and each one of them have their own. Uh, uh, advantages uh, in their own right but in in this particular one for trail running specifically and or I'm going to say in my case hard running if it's if it's something where you're going to be uh, exerting energy uh, and, and, and I don't mean energy as far as uh, you know doing miles you know you do 10 miles of, of flat land uh, you know that may be difficult but I'm talking about you know something where you're going to be doing a lot of ups and downs and climbing and and, and different terrain and, and, and you may be on the asphalt you may be on the dirt you may be on the grass uh, especially if you're on the trail you know this would be a great shoe to do it so I'm going to get back with you in just a minute and you'll see uh, it's actually not going to be just a minute it's going to be tomorrow but I'm going to jump forward and show you uh, these shoes in action uh, and, and, and I, so far I, I mean I am so excited about this because I've actually used it um, and, and like I said it. I've got 10, 20 miles on these things, and I'm loving it so far. Uh, of, of all the trail shoes that I've tried, man, this one is holding up and, and hasn't even hasn't even worn one bit, uh, and, and it fits my foot so well. I have no sore ankles. I have no sore feet. I have no blisters. So uh, everything about it is right on track so far. I will see you here in just a minute, and we'll see what it really does in action. Hi. I'm uh, kind of winding it down. I think I'm going to stop and, and, and show you my final review on these Las Portivas and how well they hold up, but I think you're going to like what you see. Hi, me again. I'm back. Uh, I told you that I was going to try to show you some real life thing. I'm out here. Uh, you know, I'm kind of in the grass now more, more than on the trail, but uh, man, being on the trail with these things, they're awesome. I, I, you know, even, even around dirty, whatever, they, you might see that they're a little bit... Uh, a little bit dusty and, and, and worn a little uh, as far as uh, dirt they're not they don't have the fresh new on them but there's no wear on them whatsoever I mean if you look down through the shoe they're gorgeously uh, made everything about them I, I just love I don't see any wear on the bottom of them uh, at this point, if you if you got 40 miles on them, I, I, I being a backpacker and a, and a hiker, I, I, I can tell you, if this were if this were a hiking boot at this point, I would be out there and I, they would be trail ready, and I I would be I would be uh, you know not afraid at all to go on any kind of overnight uh, hikes or overnight backpacking trips. Uh, and I, I know a lot of people use these for trail running, even even ultra trail running, where there's a where there's a lot of mileage covered. Uh, I've, I've seen people do a hundred milers in these things. Uh, it, it's amazing to me, and I'm not ready for a hundred miler. I'll just I'll just be totally honest with you. But but I would go out and and hike in these shoes on a daily basis, and I I, I believe these things would last me for a long long time. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been a hiker for a long time, and, and I know what it's like to pick a good hiking shoe. Uh, it's just, it's kind of one of my fortes. And in this case, this shoe right here, man, I mean, after, after 40 miles of just beating it to death, uh, if they look brand new, I, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at them, and, and to me, they look brand new. Now, they, there's a little dust, but you know, what do you expect from being, being out in a dirty, uh, hot environment? So, uh, if you look at that, uh, let me get this leaf out of the way because. Uh, I want you to get a good grasp of these shoes of how how new looking they really are. Uh, they, they they really are stitched up well. I haven't you know I've scuffed them against a lot of different stuff today, and they still don't even show any scuff marks. I mean they're they're just I, I don't know the material is is wonderful. Of course you can't get anything in here. I have I have no no twigs or or tree uh, branches or leaves that's falling down in here. No no dirt. Uh, so that part, man, I'm, I'm falling in love with. If you want a, if you want a real good tra trail running shoe, I, I gotta say this is gonna be my pick. Um, 
I love it. I, I'm, I'm happy to do this review because I'm going to give them a great review and, and tell you that you should just get these shoes. They're absolutely wonderful. The La Sportiva Country Shoe. Uh, please go to their website, check them out, and I hope you uh, hope you check into them and get you a pair. Take care. Bye bye.